Prince Harry made a surprise appearance on stage just hours after Meghan Markle's latest interview was released. The Duke of Sussex joined the co-founder and CEO of mental health and coaching firm BetterUp, Alexei Robichaux, at the Masters of Scale Summit, an event hosting a number of business leaders with the goal to cultivate innovation, acceleration and co-elevation. As the chief impact officer at BetterUp and a strong mental health advocate, the Duke spoke about the importance of therapy and mental well-being during the event. According to a tweet by Doron Weber, the vice president and program director of Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, Harry mentioned his past life in the royal family and the military. The Twitter user reported the Duke saying he never heard the words therapy or coaching while growing up in the firm or during his 10 years in the army. Reporting what Harry was saying on stage, Mr. Weber added, then the blinkers came off and his life changed. Elsewhere during the appearance, the Duke disclosed he takes advantage of the coaching service offered by BetterUp, as he joked, I have a coach, I wish I had two. Another attendee at the event, Bonku, reported Harry advocating for the reframing of mental health as a mean to unlock human potential. Shortly before Mr. Roby Chowks and Harry made their way on stage, the BetterUp Twitter account announced the pair would discuss why leaders need to focus on their mental fitness. This tweet was welcomed by several fans of the Duke, with many asking BetterUp to share a live stream link or videos from the event while also nicknaming the royal good King Harry. Harry's presence at the event appears to have been welcomed also by those in the crowd, with the founder of Tech T. Co. called on Twitter Toby, writing on the social media platform, so Prince Harry walked on stage as the last guest of Hashtag Masters of Scale Summit and even the 60-plus-year-old CEOs geeked out. Prince Harry has been a long-standing advocate for mental fitness and mental health and has joined and led several successful projects related to the issues even when he was a working member of the royal family. In 2016, he led alongside the Prince and Princess of Wales the campaign Heads Together, which aimed at tearing down the stigma surrounding mental health. In 2017, Harry and William made the extraordinary decision to open up on the impact the death of their mother, Princess Diana, had on them. Appearing on the Mad World podcast by Brian E. Gordon, the Duke confessed he had shut down all of my emotions for the last 20 years but had decided to start seeing a therapist aged 28 after being encouraged to do so by his elder brother. In the Apple TV Plus series he co-created and launched in May 2021, the me you can't see, Harry said that despite having seen a number of doctors and therapists before, it was meeting and being with Meghan what gave him the push to fix myself. In 2019, the Prince and Princess of Wales and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex joined forces to support the launch of 24-7 free text messaging service Shout, which provides immediate help to people who are experiencing a crisis. The Duke also spearheaded projects focused on supporting the mental fitness and health of service people and veterans. His most successful project to date is the Invictus Games, launched in 2014, a multi-sport tournament for ill, injured and wounded veterans and people who are still serving, which aims at harnessing the power of sport.